Welcome to today's 3D print. Time for a functional print. Something I call the double shot. Let's get into it. So I had a, a need. I had a problem that I needed to solve. So I designed something to solve that problem. This will be available on Thingiverse. The link will be down below. So if you have the weird need that I have, you can make one too. This is called the double shot. Um, I wanted to, I need multiple cameras all pointing at the same spot. So right now there are only ones going, but there are three cameras pointing at me. I have two action cameras and my Lumix. The Lumix records the video that you're seeing now, and one of the action cameras will record a time-lapse video, and the other action camera will record a wide-angle video to just encompass everything. Um, this also means I can have one video running continuously while the other one gets started and stopped. So I have the E-Light action cameras, so I went on Thingiverse and I found a E-Light mount, and I will provide the link for the original one of these, and mine will also include the STL for this that I modified to make work with my double shot. These were a little too tight. So it has the standard mount for a GoPro style mount, and so does this. This is the special part of the double shot, is this here. This, this is an early prototype, way too much plastic, too thick, had some issues, but um, I just went through some iterative processes as I corrected it. But this is just a proof of concept, make it work. So the way this works is that your GoPro mount goes on this top part here, and this fits in the flash hot shoe on top of your camera. And I'll have a picture at the end showing the rig set up right behind me here. And you then use the parts from a, a GoPro accessory pack, and that'll get you these these two nuts and these two locking connectors. So you put your nut in here, you slide your locking connector through, and now you can loosen this and adjust your angles. I want them both the same, of course, and then tighten it up. And now you can insert. I don't know if it'll fit the original Yi camera. I bet you it's close enough to fit. So this is the original Yi camera, and it would pop right into here like this. Yes, it does. So you can put either camera, a little loose, for the older one, but it will hold it. So your camera goes in there, your second camera goes in here, and then this whole entire rig mounts on top of your camera. The reason they're so far apart is that on one of them you're going to have to get in here to plug in your external power. So by having them spread apart, um, you can plug in the power and have the wire here, and this one will have the wire over here. Um, these, the wires on the back, but on the e lights that I use, the wires on the side. So I needed to have access to the side of the mount. So this updated one is thinned down quite a bit. I realized way too much plastic, took way too long to print. By the way, all three parts printed simultaneously on the Ender 2. That's very cool as well. So I put the logo in there, double shot, and then I started skinning out this. So I removed a whole bunch of the plastic that wasn't needed and just made it a little more elegant. I left these here for strength, although I don't think they're needed, but I left them there anyway. So if you put with a softer filament, you won't have any trouble with strength. But it is plenty strong. It is awesome. The only thing you might need to do, depending on your print, I would advise a slight under extrusion to make sure you get a good fit, because you want to make sure your nuts go in here, and you want to make sure these two parts actually slip together. So these two parts have to engage each other. And as you can see, this early model, it was too tight. So I had to remove some plastic, so I've adjusted the model itself to accommodate that better. And I also printed it out in 3D Racks Purple Haze, just because that looks cool. <laughs> there you go. I don't know if you can see the double shot written on there, but it's just a cutout and it says double shot. I thought it was pretty neat. So there's a spare one. Maybe I'll do a giveaway and give one of these to somebody, I don't know. It won't cost nothing to make, so... I'm going to put these up on Colts for sale, and people can buy them if they want. And I'm also going to put it up on Thingiverse for free. So if you guys want to support me, you can go to Colts and buy it, or if you just want to print it, you can go to Thingiverse and print it. And go from there, but that's pretty cool. I love it. It works great. Um, it's So far, it's given me no problems. I did the A4 with the rig, and I love it. I don't know how well it would work out in the field. 
this is more of a studio rig because I think these might be have a little too much mass. I mean, it feels pretty strong. I don't know how this would hold up out in the field holding the camera because I'd be leery of damaging my hot shoe mount on the camera. But sitting here on the tripod works great. I have no problems with it. I love it. Links will be down below. You guys have a great day. Oh, and this was all done in Tinkercad. All this. I did it all in Tinkercad. You'd be surprised what you can do with Tinkercad. It's a lot of copy paste cut, copy paste cut, but it works. You can get a pretty decent amount of stuff done using Tinkercad to do stuff like this.